Hello, Internet world. My name is Apocalypse Toast, and I'm going to be showing you Space Engine. Space Engine is a space exploration game, as you can probably tell. You can zoom through the universe, and the game will procedurally generate planets and star systems and galaxies, and you can explore. It gives all the different planets various... Um, various details about temperature and orbit speeds and all of that good stuff. So this in front of us is the Milky Way, uh, but you could go to any one of these galaxies out here. Most, Some of them might be real, most of them are going to be generated by the game, as well as all their stars on the inside will be generated. But we're going to take a look at some generated planets within the Milky Way. And our goal is going to be to explore a planet with life. Um, that not to say that the game will have people exploring, or excuse me, people people exploring people that are alive on the planet that you can see, but that it basically has the ability to support life. So we are going to start this video by looking out on the outer rim of the Milky Way, and we're going to just barely enter the Milky Way any moment now some stars should come flying past us there we go we're inside the Milky Way now so from here is all the stars okay so what you do is oh look I found one already you click on a star and up here at the top left oh, excuse let me get rid of that at the top left you will find the stats for the star system it'll tell you how many planets there are and if any of them have life so then you double tap your G key and zoom in on it. So that is the star, but we're not s interested so much in the star. So you hit F2 and it brings up the list of planets. And it looks like this last one here. Yep, Temperate Terra. Temperate Terra is like what you would find on Earth. This is 250 kelvins. If I'm not mistaken, 300 kelvins is about 80 degrees Fahrenheit. So a bit cooler than maybe you might be used to if you're like me, you're used to 80 degrees. Wow, look at that. This planet has four moons, as well as a ring. There is a star over there in the background. I really like the shadow effect on the rings. I think that's it's such a neat, um, it's a neat. What am I? What am I trying to say? It's like it's. I'm glad they put that in because that's. I think that's what would happen. The shadow would just make those rings invisible. So why don't we take a look on the surface? This looks like there's some land right there. So what am I going to do? Is slowly approach. You got to be careful not to hit the speed too hard or otherwise you're going to go flying past it into another galaxy. This part always scares me uh, when you zoom in on a planet like this. Something about the, sh the scale of the universe and the size of planets is just frightening. Um, what you're hearing in the background is the ambient noises of the Enterprise. I thought that would be a nice little touch. Hopefully it's not it's not your computer, you know, don't worry, your computer's fine. Let's take a look down on the surface here. Let me slow down a little bit. Ah, there we go. Ah, it's relatively flat. Um it's most interesting when there are clear surface features like hills and mountains. There we go. Oh the texture slowed it up. When you find planets that are covered in mountains, it's really cool looking. I have my graphics set kind of low right now because this game has been crashing a lot for me as it takes a lot of memory, it needs a lot of memory to load everything, and quite frankly, it will shut down often. So like I said before, you won't actually find like cities and people and stuff, but this has the ability to support life, and I mean, you can kind of tell it, it's got a same atmosphere as Earth because the sky is blue. It's got water. How about we take 
a how about we zoom out again and we'll look on the other side oh, it's all dark you can't see uh, I was trying to see if there's some more land somewhere but it doesn't look like it there's some right there in the middle let's take a zoom down there Now we're in the darkness. Wait for all the textures to just load. Let me speed up so I can get off the ground. There we go. No, it looks like it's the same almost all the way around the planet. Oh, are those mountains? Let's go fly over there. If you looked on the left of your screen, you can see all of the various um, details about this planet. For example, its orbital period is about two years, so it takes twice as long to orbit than our Earth does. Look, here's some mountains. This is what you want to look for, because this is what makes the game so beautiful once you have your graphics turned up. Unfortunately, I do not, because I really don't want the game to crash you can tell all the textures are loading still and this is just on the lowest setting so before it crashes I'm going to save this location we're going to save it as planet with life 1 there you go that way we can get back here I'm having a problem. The game is loading so many textures. I'm not able to move. How about we get out of here? Oop, is it, there it goes. Finished. It's still loading occasionally. The planet name is RS8403-226.8-8-2232. We're about 900 meters off the ground right now. It has four moons. We need to take a look at the moons. I'm so glad I found mountains because I'm tired. I don't like seeing flat planets. They're just so boring. Snowcap mountains right here. Let's see if we can see one of the moons from the surface. But we just we'll click on it. The arrows, uh, it's beneath us. Oh, there's one over there. Beneath us. And that one. No, it's kind of far. Let's go take a let's take a little trip over that way. Hopefully I can make it there without the game crash into bits on me. I can't see it yet. Well, you know why? It's because it's on the far side of the planet and it's probably hidden by a shadow. So why don't we just leave the planet and we'll take a zoom. There it is. Game is rather slow. It's not your video, it's mine. It's my game. This moon has a ton of craters. All those white spots are craters. Let's see if we can get a look at the planet from the moon. There it is. But we, oh, there's the other moons. Look at the... Oh, this game is beautiful, isn't it? Let's take a look down at the surface. Moons are pretty tough to load because they're just nothing but craters and mountains most of the time. Although the best kind of moons are moons with life. Those are very fun. speed up. So you can tell that all the white spots are where it 
had some type of impact and it just washed it washed in a big circle it washed all the color into this bright beige the fact that I'm recording audio and playing the ambient music of the Enterprise is probably is not helping the game but that's alright it's worth it Wouldn't it be nice to look in the sky and see that? Although I guess not because you wouldn't have an atmosphere. Let's see, orbital period. This moon goes around that planet in about three days. And it spins it rotates at the same exact time, that means that the same side of the moon is always facing that planet, much like our own moon. Contrary to belief, our moon does rotate. It just does it at the same speed that it orbits, therefore you never see the other side of it from Earth anyway. You can see it if you are out in space. What is that bright thing right there? That's a star cluster. Not quite a galaxy, but a cluster. So, just as a little, um, just to get an idea, we'll type Earth. And I was hoping we can get some kind of distance. Maybe not. I was hoping to see, like, to see how far we are away from Earth. Oh, there it is. Distance 45, 60. I don't know what PC is. Parsecs? No. That'd be cool. Maybe it is. Maybe not. It's quite far away. Let me turn off the... Uh... Oh, it looks like the moon... The planet has captured an asteroid. That is an asteroid right there. How about we take a look at the asteroid? Yep, that is an asteroid. The detail in this game is just stunning. Let me just um, let me zoom out just a little bit to get a better look. Oh, it kind of gave me a fisheye view. Well, that's okay. How do I fix this? I don't like it. <laughs> There we go. No, it's still doing it. Okay, we had a slight... Um, God, did my stars go up? Why does it seem like it's more stars? There's not, though. Okay, I had a slight perspective problem, but it's all fixed now. Where did the planet go? There it is. Yeah, my uh, zoom function got all screwed up. I think for some reason the stars are brighter. If that makes any sense. I mean, that is not how they usually look. I don't know. Let's take a look at a different moon. The desert moon. Let's pop down to the surface here. So this is Tatooine planet? <laughs> it's a desert? No, that just means it's hot. Again, this orbits the same day that it rotates. I mean, the same time that it rotates, so the same side is always facing the planet. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, that is caused by the planet's gravity pretty much locking the moon in place. This does seem to have an atmosphere because it is not just a black sky, this is blue. But um, it looks like it would be too hot to support any kind of life. Actually, I don't know, I haven't looked at the uh, temperature. I'm not seeing it. Oh, that's okay. 
power temperature 177 kelvins. Yeah, it's it's uh it's kind of low. Well, I think we'll end here. Uh, we took a look at some of the moons as well as the planet itself. Let me just level off my space ship thing and get a look at the sky. So thank you for joining me on my journey. We can actually see a lot of stars up there. Thanks for, yeah, thanks for joining me. Uh, come back next time. We'll find some more planets of life. Maybe we'll explore a distant galaxy. So, have a good rest of your internet viewing day, and have fun. <laughs>